All right, let's make some food. So, I have some... Um, I've got some... How can I call this in English? I forgot the name. Um, carne trita di pollo. Um, ground chicken meat. And so I can make some little meatballs to cook in a nice tomato sauce. So let's do it. All right, this is gonna, I'm gonna make the mix for the uh, meatballs here. So boom. Here we're going to put, uh, um, I wrote them down here, two, 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 eggs, so I think here one would be enough, uh, let's see, voila, I destroyed the yellow part, but thank god I need to mix them anyways. Okay, so, egg, pangattato, so breadcrumbs, maybe I'll put too much, okay, then let's see, depending on how it feels, then I'm gonna add a bit of ingredients, but parmigiano, this one you need to rate it, oh boy, is the the camera sticks out a little bit, so let's see. All right, let's get some parmigiano. <coughs> Gonna taste amazing. Uh, let's see, what do we have to chop? close just in case I need to add more let's see well we got a good chunk okay this uh, parsley let me see if we can make it fine or against the, well, to the same side of the blade, obviously, <laughs> obviously. Oh, I think I should put more, let's see. Because parsley really makes them fresh and nice and fresh. Let's see. Scoop it up. Make sure nothing falls. Hmm. I'm gonna need a bit more, why not? Let me put down the blade. Okay.
take some water out and then chop these leaves too. Very slow and precise so I don't cut my fingers. The slower the better. This should be a bit better. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now let's see what's left. I'm very focused tonight. Uh, aglio. There it is, garlic. Right, so I'm gonna <clears throat> uh, chop it as fine as I can without without being too crazy, you know. Without being, you know, without without staying too much time cutting it. Let's see. First of all, I need to peel it. And peeling it little by little. Perfect. Okay. So here's one. Let me just peel them all. This one is so tiny. Let's see. Oop. Let's see. Perfect. Okay, and then last one. Oop. Oop. So flawless. Okay, perfect. So just throw this away. Okay, means this. Take 
Um, put it back in the bowl. Perfect. There you go. All right. Perfect. So now I have it perfect. Let's start mixing. Perfect, we're getting the egg mixed in too. see so from the consistency looks like oh, let me see I need to mix more okay so judging from the consistency a bit more breadcrumbs for sure I'm happy with the parsley. A little bit more cheese. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we got a bit more bread comes a bit more cheese, and uh, they should have a nice because they're a bit sticky. It's a bit sticky you now still. I guess it should be a little bit more easier to compact. Okay, let's see. All right. Perfect, okay, let's see. Parmigiano. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep one hand free, so if I need to add something, I can do it. Okay. Okay, now you see it's getting more a better shape. Let's see, I don't want to exaggerate with the breadcrumbs, but at least I want to make it compact enough. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there, maybe a tiny bit. And that's it. Perfect, I think we're good to go. Yep. Salt and pepper, gosh, how could I forget about salt and pepper? Let me add salt and pepper. Perfect. 
you go. Salt. Pepper and sweet again. So that even these two spices can go together. Perfect. All right. Amazing. So let's get started uh, while this rests a little bit. Let's get started with the with the sauce on the pan. So we got a pan. Okay. And. Wash my hands one second and let's do the, the tomato sauce in there. I'm just gonna do like a generic um, um, a generic one, very simple, plain. Alright, so we need garlic. Yeah, two of these are good. Okay, let's put them too. Okay. Peeled. <laughs> it's very tiny, what the hell? So let's peel this one too. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, just a bit more. Perfect. This one's. All right, I thought they were two big pieces, but I ended up spending so much time cleaning these garlics. All right, so start warming up the pan. Medium heat. I wish I had a gas stove. The gas stove is much. Oh, what happened to this? Let me just chop it off. All right, so mm. now it's better if they were two big ones, so I was sure that they wouldn't burn. I need to be careful not to burn them. Let's see. On the fire. And then we get uh, uh, olive oil. Okay. 
And let's start putting the garlic inside. In the meantime, I'm gonna open the tomatoes. Voila! Okay, so I don't need it anymore. This one is resting nicely. Mmm, the smell starts coming up. I'm getting so excited. I'm getting super excited. So this is ready. Mmm. I am super excited. Crank up a little bit. It doesn't really need to fry, it needs to be a little golden, a little... You know, <clears throat> very subtle. subtle. <clears throat> yeah, let's wait patiently. Again, I wish I had a gas stove, it would, you know, it would reach temperature easier. What am I doing? In the meantime, I can start <laughs> making the, uh, the meatballs. <clears throat> and let's see, I don't want to make them too big because I don't like... And let's see if, if I achieve the right consistency with them. Alright, I think I like this are pretty good. Now how can I make sure I get the same amount? Hmm. Let's see, this looks pretty much... Oh, the garlic is starting to work magic. Okay, perfect. Heat already a little bit. Let me just quickly wash my hands. We will work on the sauce for a second. Oops. Okay. Let's jump back to the sauce. I hope. Okay. See. I'll just flip them over. Just a very simple. Let me get just a simple wood spoon so I can move the garlic around so they don't stick, they don't burn. If you want to make the sauce too garlicky, <coughs> you can, after a little bit that they go, you can remove them, you know, and just leave the oil. But I'll keep them in because. Um, I like it this way, it's healthy, you know, it's healthy. Hmm. And then we're simply going to add this and let it cook very slowly. It's very easy, very, 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 very easy. Oh, and a uh, spoon of tomato paste. Because I had it in my fridge and I used it for another recipe, so... It's not necessary, absolutely. I'm just using it because, you know, it was in my fridge. And, uh... Well, we're almost there. How long is this video? Ooh, 25 minutes. Let's see, it's, it's a real vlog. It's a real, you know, no cuts, no edits. 
Well, I'm gonna speed up some parts for sure. I'm gonna speed up some parts, like peeling the garlic, you know, all that stuff. <clears throat> I need to find a way to get the same amount of meat every time because if not, they're gonna. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but they need to be similar sizes so they cook evenly. That's the only reason why I'm concerned, not. Not for cosmetic reasons, I don't care how they look like. Let's see. Okay, we're almost ready to add the sauce. Maybe we can use a spoon, maybe we can use a... Nah, I'll just go. By instinct, by hand. <laughs> so. Let's see. Garlic is cooking. Alright, we're ready. I don't wanna... Because, believe it or not, uh, the moment when it burns, you know, happens like that. If you're distracted, it will burn, you know? You know how many times we... So... You gotta be with it, you gotta play, you know? Not play with it, you gotta move it, you gotta keep it keep it moving so it doesn't burn all right so it looks nice and golden the smell is amazing i'm gonna start adding tomatoes just because i know that the little ones they're about to be over um, they're gonna burn if i leave them too long so happy with this amount Okay, I might need to add, since it's a bit thicker, I might need to add like a little bit of water. Perfect. Let me add a little bit of the tomato paste. fire if not starts <laughs> it will start splattering literally everywhere um, in fact I will leave it on my t-shirt but I don't care let me see mm -mm -mm. So I can add just a little bit of water yeah, just, just, uh, just a little bit So it's not too dense and it doesn't get too dry. Not dry, but it doesn't get too too thick. So because if it gets too thick, it would stick to the pan. And... All right, perfect. I guess I just need to add a little bit of salt. Perfect. Oh, I put too much because then you know it's always better to add salt at the end because once you put it, you cannot take it back. So it's better to be very cautious at the beginning than put it too much because then how are you gonna take it back? Possible. All right. So while this cooks very slowly, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Hmm. Very basic. Very classic. Well, that cooks. I'm gonna keep doing this work, and yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna definitely speed up the video. Mm 
The sauce is going. Yeah. Let's see, I was afraid there was enough, but
Yes, we made it. Woo! Alright. We wash really well. Alright, now. So let me explain you something. Now, there's, there's, you know, the, the, the way to make it super good is to cook, uh, uh, is to sear the meatballs in another pan just with olive oil so they make that little, you know, um, not charred, but that little um, sweet crust, you know. But you can also throw them directly in tomato sauce. So, I think I'm gonna be really lazy and I'll just cook them directly in the tomato sauce with a bit of water and cover them. So let's see. Let me check here. How's the tomato sauce doing? Okay. Okay, nice. Nice. Let's see. Mmm. Very, very, very nice. Let's just throw the meatballs in there and add a little bit of um, water and then we'll let it cook. Let's do that right now. I'm gonna be really careful. I try to maintain the same uh, size. Perfect. Spread them out a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now Still have the glass. Okay, just a little bit. Okay. Oh, I mean, I just had to put the raw chicken in there, but whatever. Immune system. Okay, so. Mm, 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 mm. Cover this. Let me see if I can find the right. Um, the right size. This might be too big or no? Yeah, unfortunately. So let me just, this one should be perfect, voila, amazing, so let's let them go, I'm gonna keep an eye on it, see if I, see if I, mm, I'm gonna need to put some water, or if they're running good, um, I'm gonna make sure nothing sticks, you know, nothing, uh, uh, Nothing gets burnt, and that's it. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. Uh, clean up a little bit, and we'll be right back when this is cooked, all right? Good stuff. See you in a bit. All right, it's recording, yes. All right, we're back. Meatballs have cooked. I've added just a little bit of tomato sauce and water, and then I literally just cover them, let them cook for around 15 minutes and then I constantly you know kept watching them moving them steering them etc etc until I got them to the uh, perfect level so how to serve this I had some mm, this is just boiled um, basmati rice that I had in the fridge so I'm just gonna eat it with rice now another good idea is to eat this with um, actually let me 
All right, because I'm taking, because I'm taking a video, I am going to make it fancy, or at least try to make it fancy. Let's see. Let's make the serving fancy. So we're gonna try to make little rice uh, mountains. Okay, let's see. Nope. Yes. Yes or no? All right, let's try again. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Oh no, see it's coming apart. So it must be that the rice uh, must be, um, you know, different consistency or something. Let's try here. We will keep it on for a little bit. I guess it's a little better. Whatever, guys. The point is that these meatballs are beautiful. I'm going to enjoy them with this rice. <clears throat> oh my boy, I'm so hungry. I'm going to enjoy them with this rice and I sprinkled some... Mm, sprinkled, I chopped some fresh parsley because it goes really well with it. Oh, see, this one stayed. It's just this one that uh, fell apart. Beautiful. Voila. But this is amazing. I'm gonna get the super special olive oil. And voila. Oops, put a little bit too much, but I love it. That's just my taste. Remember, guys, this is not a recipe. This is not a tutorial. This is just a vlog. And that's what it is. Perfect. So I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful dish. I'm super hungry. I already had forks here because I tried um, the chicken. Cooked perfectly all the way too. It's nice and firm, not too firm. And let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna take a bite with this. A little bit of rice. Mmm, you know, simple, you know, the taste of homemade is just, it's just the best taste, nothing to do about it, when you earn your food too, when you make it, when you, you work it, you put love into it, alright guys, I'm gonna enjoy this, and uh, woo, see you next time.